I'm feeling a bit astonished that I started with this alphabet in February and with A for Apple. And here we are in June and I'm only just up to F. But a lot of water has passed under the bridge. So I hope you'll forgive me, uh, both with family and community and all sorts of things that have uh, come up anew uh, to be um, supported and uh, taking a lot of time. So looking at F for fibre today and fiber you know i always say to people that vegetables are our very best friend and one of the reasons is because they have the most amazing types of fiber in them that offer uh, real nourishment to the gut and from that the rest of the body and i remember being in my teens i think uh, when maybe early teens, when maybe bran flakes and those kind of fibre type foods, well, perhaps products, I should call them rather than foods, appeared on the market and were mooted to be wonderful for health, you know, helping people with constipation and just the most amazing thing since sliced bread. And of course, they were wonderful for the manufacturers because they make them a lot of money. So should we be eating this or should we be eating that? And the thing about fibre is that when you eat a good plate of vegetables along with your protein and your fats, it helps you feel fuller for longer. And it means then that you're not wanting to pick later. But also it is this marvellous benefit of the bulk that it provides for the bowel. And what the bowel actually does with all of that bulk. So your flora, your little friendly flora, love a bit of fibre. And there are a couple of types of fibre. Well, you know, I'll just cover these two. There's soluble fibre, which dissolves in the water that you use to dissolve, you know, sorry, not, you know, use to uh, digest your food. It absorbs the water and forms a kind of gel, which is easily digested by the good bacteria in your gut. And the kind of foods that contain that sort of uh, soluble fibre are things like Brussels sprouts and asparagus and the cruciferous family. Generally, um, Brussels sprouts, uh, cabbage, kale uh, and uh, broccoli and you know cauliflower are all a fabulous source of fiber so insoluble fiber um, the kind of fiber that isn't easily broken down helps to control the pace of or transit of food um, wastes and so on through the gut um, and food generally and helps to um, provide again bulk for the stool as we pass it. Um, hope that's not too much information or too nitty gritty. But the kinds of foods that are fabulous for that are things like celery and cabbage. And of course, one of the things in celery is that stringy bit that we do often peel a bit off of. Um, those kind of things that are very chewy uh, are really good source of insoluble fibre. And of course, we have to peel those off to get them through a juicer, for example, because otherwise they just mangle up the teeth in the juicer. So fibre is a lovely source of nutrients for your flora, your gut flora. And what the flora in your gut do is they ferment the fibre and help um, that helps them make something called short chain fatty acids and other nutrients as well that not only nourish all of the mucosa or the coating or lining of your gut but also the whole of your body and these types of fiber also help your flora to soak up and dispose of toxins and wastes that you need to get rid of and one of the short chain fatty acids that your gut flora make 
um, when they ferment your dietary fibre, which incidentally, the human gut um, or the human body on its own would be incapable of digesting. So it's all your little gut flora that help you to metabolise um, that fibre in food that really your body isn't doesn't uh, quite have the ability to break down all on its own. Now butyrate um, being one of these short chain fatty acids and a very important one is something that helps to feed the gut lining and nourish it. It also helps reduce inflammation in the gut and keep your gut very healthy and very happy. It stops leaky gut developing and leaky gut is where you have too big a space between the gut cells um, in the gut wall um, which means that things that should not be leaching through from the gut are leaching through into the body and causing inflammation in the body as well um, and also um, butyrate is something that helps support brain elasticity so it's really important for as we age helping prevent senility and dementia and other benefits from dietary fiber and therefore what the gut does with it in its fermentation procedure so you could say there's a few f's floating around here today fiber Fermentation is another one that's that's happening. Happy, you know, good fermentation. And the fibre is helpful um, with the assistance of the gut flora for helping you metabolise cholesterol well and either excrete it or recycle it and reuse it. Um, it also helps you bind up bile. So it helps the metabolise metabolism of bile as well and of course about 70% of a, a bowel movement of your faeces should be bile but some of that is reabsorbed and reused and the gut flora and the fibre help in the process of that. Of course fibre would you mention because you know they reckon benefits of all bran uh, what are those things called fibre flakes or something um, were to help remedy constipation but if you have really good level of vegetable fibre coming in and fibre from other sources of course like whole grains particularly if they're well prepared if you soak your brown rice for 8 to 12 hours before you cook it that kind of thing really helps prepare that fibre for your gut to use and then help um, with removal of wastes from the body I've already, as I've already mentioned uh, because also the gut transit time is really efficient and then um, naturally bowel cancer preventative because it's reducing inflammation helps improve glucose intolerance this is one of the, the things that they've discovered that the fiber that we eat um, because it slows down the rate at which food is digested in the stomach and the gut um, it helps then you keep your blood sugar steady for longer and of course fiber is a food for your good gut flora and it also helps your gut flora regulate your hormones like estrogen and so on your other steroid hormones as well such as testosterone and so on and it's amazing that gut flora can make hormone um, hormones. They can also help you break down hormones. They can help you excrete hormones. And so they are really, really beneficial. So F is for fibre. Have a fabulous day, a fabulous Friday and a fabulous weekend and look after you.